I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Check, <laughs> check, check. You know what? They don't. I want. Do they do that anymore? When you go Before. to a concert, do they? They're all the the roadie comes out to check the mics. He's all check, check, check. I one two check. I chick. would hope so. I don't know. I think we do sound check. I feel like they do it before people come yeah. in. Like they do their sound checks before Correct. instead of during, which. That's something that they just, it's weird. What a weird thing that they don't do anymore. Like, well, we're professionals now. There's we don't quite do a lot th- they don't do anymore. A lot of it is because like, you can't do anything anymore. Even the yeah. stupidest things will end up being in the in the news. <laughs> like, can you believe their crew was out there? Did you yeah. see? And they were all white. Huh? Every one of them. <laughs> uh, let's just get going. Yeah. It's one of those days. <laughs> it's like, let's just go. <laughs> Well, I hate time change, Stephanie. It's, it's the worst. Absolutely. And now I'm just dreading work tomorrow. Stephanie, I- <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be up at 5 a.m. Welcome to the Ugly Truth. This is episode 608. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, well, um, every year. I, okay, so here's the thing. I thought we were done with the time change. We voted it out or we whatever. Have- regularly voted it out we like, have also regularly. voted to start killing people on death row and he, they're just like nope <laughs> we don't I'm care what like, you want i'm just like why i in fact i was actually almost argumentative with somebody the other day that i'm like no we don't have the time change and i've been this has been my brain since like november when we oh, did the last yeah, time no. change and joe's like no i think we're doing it i'm like no yeah we're, no, doing we're not <laughs> he goes yeah we are i go yeah. okay well then this is the last one right no. No. And I go, what are you talking about? I go, we we have literally voted on the time change stopping so many times. So many times. And it's like over oh, it's like the one thing that everybody agrees on in this world is that we should no longer lose an hour of sleep. I agree. Why? I go, I don't get it. We and we've been doing the time change. I actually did research why we do the time change. It's for the farmers. Yeah, when there was no electricity. Right. It's we're <laughs> way past that. Can we please? Act? No. And you know. How dare I think that the government would ever update any law? God forbid. They let's just continue <laughs> rolling it all back. Hey, by the way, if you want to live in buttfuck Arkansas, you can put your seven-year-old to work, and it's not against the law. That's Did true. you know that? No, <laughs> I mean, and I believe it. But Fuck. like federal laws are <clears throat> mind-blowing, like poverty levels and stuff about how much money you can c- consider. They consider that the average person should be able to live on, right? Either a single individual or a couple, a married couple. Mm. I mean, sometimes when I'm explaining these things to people, they're like, "That wait, how much? We're supposed to live on six hundred dollars a month?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> Where? Hey, according Where? to the feds, Where's that's this? perfectly acceptable. Well, when was the last time they updated it? Like forty years ago. No shit. Forty <sighs> so years it's been since they have updated the poverty level for that. <sighs> yes. All right. Well, uh, it is Oscar Sunday. I know. And uh, in in honor of Oscar Sunday, we are drinking a mimosa because yes. it's morning. So if you add juice, it's not alcoholism. Well, technically, it's like five, <laughs> it's five minutes after noon. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because the fucking time changed. Yes. Normally, it would be 11 and we would be drinking in the morning. But I have to say, I woke up this morning at, well, <clears throat> here's the problem. I was up way too late last yeah. night because I had three coffees. And so oh. I was I was up until like almost two in the morning. Oh, geez. I've done so that. So I fell asleep and I woke up. I'm like, oh, what time is it? And you can feel when it's, it's late. late. You can feel it, You're right? Like, oh, God. My, my body is like, why haven't you been awake? You should be up. So I look and I'm like, oh, my God. God, it's 9 a.m. I know, huh? That's insane. I'm usually doing many things by 9 a.m. So you have something in your eye? No, it's my new one size <laughs> mascara, which I love the way it looks, oh. but it, it I'm allergic to it. No. So I've separated the two to see which one it was because I have the eyeliner and the mascara. Yes. It's, it's the mascara. What which, what brand is it? One size. A oh, one size. Yes, yeah, that new oh. makeup that I got when I got the blush palette. Sure. Do you like the blush? I love it. It. It's Go very, ahead. very bright, as you yes. can see. It I'm still, good, I'm still figuring it out, but I'm also, you know, all the influencers say it's like the thing now. We want bright blush. We're pink. going through a thing. Everybody's thing. I bought the Patrick Ta pink. Did you? Yes, I'm wearing it now. Bethany Frankel swears by purple. She said, "If you're oh. really, really pale, she goes, and no one makes purple blush. It's hard to find. Yeah, you know who used to make it? Who? Clinique." Oh, really? Our mother wore a purple blush forever. So she has a purple blush palette that she looks oh. really good on her. It doesn't look, 
you know, neon purple right. on your face. No, no, but when you're pale, it, when you're pale, it's it, blue. It so it looks yes, it's becoming yeah, very interesting. Anyway, so yes, I'm blinking a lot because okay. my freaking eyes are as watering. long as <laughs> as long as you're I having something in your eyes. The worst. It feels like there's something in your eye when you have mascara yes. that doesn't agree with your eyeballs. Yes, it's like you're constantly just like uh, like blinking. Interestingly, and and... I'm pretty much allergic to nothing when it comes to makeup mm-hmm. except that I bought. I thought I had. Uh-oh. The no, I'm just making sure because it's so <laughs> low, and I'm like, are we just not talking loud? Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> you know, Sorry, it's everyone. fine. Daryl's like, ah! he's like, God, okay, we can hear you. It's fine. <laughs> you don't have to use your true voice. It's fine. <laughs> no one wants our true voice. No, you don't. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So I bought. I got fancy because I was inspired by you getting fancy. So I bought a fancy mascara because I love mascara. So I, I bought the, this new YSL <clears throat> um, something ex, something lash right. mascara. So I bought it and I'm like, I don't like it. First oh. of all, it's hard to work with. It the the the, the brush head is huge. Oh, and, it's like one of those fat ones. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, and it feels like it's dry. Maybe, uh-huh. And I'm like, maybe you got a bad one. Yo, no. I don't know. So I've been not messing with it. that money, yeah. Yeah, so I've been messing <laughs> with it, and I'm like, okay, well, it's definitely not dry. I just need to figure out how to work it. And it's more of a natural, which I'm not a fan of. <sighs> Me neither, not with my lashes. And you can't do double coat. This shit is done. Oh, one and done. no, I can't. So I've been working with it, and I'm starting to get get the hang of it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I think it's pretty. I like it. I just It just takes a little more effort than yeah. normal. Well, I kept thinking that I was allergic to something that I was putting on my face at night before going to bed. I have a very bad habit of cleaning all of my makeup off except for my mascara because I don't want to do it. (laughs) Because it's so much work. It's just, I'm like, you know what? It's kind of like nighttime makeup where I have I, I have a smoky oh. eye and it looks really cute so I'm like I don't want to I'll just leave it like at least I have a little something I on mean it's face. not gonna do anything and it's not gonna make you break out no. like like your skin so for the last week and a half I'm like God, my eyes burn every time I wake up in the morning I'm like oh no it's this new eye cream or no it's the, the mascara. mascara so last night I went fine uh, so I washed it off but I woke up this morning <sighs> going well other than being 9 a.m I feel great my eyes are fine <laughs> so great so I either use this and take it all off at night, which I hate doing. <clears throat> so I bought makeup wipes, and I'm just gonna. Oh do yeah, it. see, because like, normally I don't. And I like makeup wipes, except for they make me break out. <laughs> like I could probably only use them on my eyes. Okay, mother. Ah, Jesus. I know, and I try to. I'm like, no, you know, you're being ridiculous, and so I just I, I embrace it. I put whatever it is on yes. again, and then I'm like, no. I wake up the next morning, and I'm like, I have smallpox. <laughs> They're all over my face. <laughs> you're, you're literally, do you use Neutrogena? That's the ones I use. But for lotion? No, the makeup wipes. Neutrogena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love they're those. so non, there's, yeah, no, there's yeah, nothing in them yeah. anyway, except for maybe you would. Well, you know what I think I did? I think I them. did try to, because makeup wipes are, why are they so expensive? Because I, they're wasteful. I and guess. And it's, a, it's a shortcut <laughs> to the end game, which is why forever I was using. And the new thing, everything is cyclical, right? Right. So now they're, all the companies are coming out with makeup remove balm, B-A-L-M. So you take some and you wipe it all and you just literally put it on your face and it just literally takes everything off. And, and then you I just have use this, like a tissue or whatever? No, they, they have these microfiber cloths that are oh. specifically meant for makeup and they literally work. And any woman who grew up in the 50s was like, yeah, we've been using those for 100 years. We know they work. <laughs> Welcome right. to the program, people. We just went to Pet Boys to buy them and now you can get them on Amazon. Yeah, well, Malia's like, mom, have you heard of these microfiber? I'm like, yes, I've been using it for two years. I love it. You have to wash it all the time, but it's yeah. worth it. And I don't even want to say the soap that I use because then it will it will sell out because Uh-oh. influencers were hip to Zote, which is a pink bar of soap that our people use to wash clothes, wash oh. whatever, and you can only get it at Home Depot. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Or Amazon. Yeah, yeah. And it works like insane, and it lasts Magic. forever. Magic, yeah. So that's what I've been and using. I finally got a new bar, and he's like, now Zote is $5 <clears throat> a bar. What the hell, PayPal? It used to be a dollar. You yes. know, it's like... Because all the influencers are Got using it to yeah. clean their brushes and stuff. But it works on everything. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I use it, it to clean everything. Anyway, back to uh, today is Oscar Sunday. <laughs> Stephanie's allergic to everything. I know. But I in in, uh, in honor of the Oscars, we are drinking a lovely mimosa that producer Deb made for us. Mm-hmm. Now, I was thinking about this. I have been kind of a bitch for a while. Really? What's a while? I don't know. Like a week. Okay. Yeah. And it's dumb triggered shit. It's dumb Good. stuff. So to say that I won't watch the Oscars is, is a lie. 
I will 100% watch it. Do you love it? Me too. Yeah, no. Cheers. So I love it. But there are Cheers. these giant. Um, you have to be very careful. And you're, I guess you're supposed to hold it by the stem. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I have no support. So it's like wobbly in my hand. I'll spit out my drink. When you take but I guess <laughs> I just watched you do it and you hold the stem, but then you also kind at of like base. rest it at the base. I rest it on my finger. That's not classless, right? I can do that. Yeah, no, this is fine. You can okay. do that. Just don't cup your... No, you don't cup it. I've seen yeah. someone do that, and, and someone literally goes, "What are you doing?" And they're like, "What? I'm holding my no, 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 no. That's not how we hold wine. That's how we hold a mug of tea, right? That's not how you hold a wine glass." So I'm like, and they, they're gorgeous um, glasses. We by just the way. got them. Yeah, very, very pretty. But Super I'm just nice. like, I'm not sure how to manhandle this. Just without... rest your point. And I was just reading like, like things bands. that make you look poor, things that make you look classless. <laughs> I was watching something on that the other day. I'm like, okay, That's I don't want to do that. Like, oh, look at that trashy gal. Yeah, I'm like, here I have this beautiful glass, oh. and I'm like, <laughs> like I'm crucifying it. Anyway. So anyway, um, I was uh, thinking about the Oscars and how much I don't really enjoy them. Right. I like, I want the data <laughs> and I want the red carpet. That's it. Yeah. I, I want to know who won and I want to see who, what they're wearing. I don't give a shit about your speech. I hate the, the MC. I don't care. Yeah. You know, none of it. I don't like. So it's Jimmy Kimmel, right? Yes, it is. He's safe. He's you safe know? and it's his third year, which yes. he's getting accolades for because it's a well, small group of, of people who right. have been who have been invited to host the Oscars and and times. repeatedly, right? Right. So anyway, I'm like, but did you know Bob Hope did it for 19 years? Yes, 19 Oscars. Yeah. Anyway, well, because he was nondescript and, and he was he a white was, man, and he's funny. Well, and, and back white then man, yes. it was yeah, it was so just so different now. It's so different now. I'm it's glad all it's like change personally. <laughs> Oh no, I am too. I'm very happy with yeah, the but it's also to the other extre- extreme. It's like they have to pick the perfect. So, ex- oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Socially acceptable. Yeah, person. well, they literally went without one for a couple of years. Yeah, no one cares. That's the thing. So I, I know. So this is my point. This is my whole point on the Oscars. Now, the the pomp and circumstance. I'm I'm down for it. I like it. But I was thinking about. It, I'm like, I believe that social media has rendered award shows completely irrelevant yeah and why because you can find everything that you want to know well it's this and and then i created a list of things that social media has pleasantly removed as something that's necessary in our lives okay number one and we'll do the oscars last number one high school reunions they're over you don't need to do them anymore because you're friends with everybody on facebook on, on facebook I you know. can literally see what everyone's doing on facebook you what don't they look like you don't need to go to some hotel ballroom right. and eat oh, shitty food God. and dress up and try to wear as much Spanx as possible and you know all the things that's literally why I didn't go to my the one significant one I think it was like 25 years uh-huh. <clears throat> which is like okay it's a long time well that's when people have actually you know been married divorced job yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever and people actually went to that one for my yes. year and I yes. saw I watched the pictures online because I'm like I'm not going to that I have refused to I went to my five-year reunion and I said I'm never coming back yeah and I mean there are a lot of people I went to high school with that I adore I'm friends with them on social media yeah I know everything about them already everything yeah. they want to tell me and if it's extra we'll go into a dm and yeah. chat but that's it yeah I have no interest in Anything beyond it's, the small talk would kill me for starters. I, I have no interest in running into my high school bully. I agree. Nothing. I, I don't want to do it. I so agree. what's great? Social media has eliminated the high school reunion. And what's in our area, our high school, they do a quote unquote all class reunion because yeah. now they're not necessary. Because it encompasses multiple years, well, first right? Well, who's going to pay one hundred and fifty dollars a couple to go to the, the Sacramento Convention Rancho. Center? Yeah, no one. <laughs> You know, well, some people do, and I'm always like, well, it's of course, fun. it's the same people that so I now go and they, organize it. They go to a bar, and it's all class, so everybody. <laughs> yeah. Because when you think about it, what's the difference between someone who graduated four years before or after you? Or nothing. the year before or the year after. Literally we all knew, we all knew each yes. other anyway. And right? we're all basically the same age. Yeah. So anyway, um, I love that social media has ended high school reunions. Yeah, The way we have seen them before. The traditional way. Yeah, the whole... Peggy Sue got married. Reunions are over. I went to one high school reunion, not my own. It was my husband's and it was his 30. And I think the only reason why it was different is because that time they graduated in 73. So that time frame, Mm -hmm. those people are kind of like, some are into social media. Some are completely not. No, they're boomers. So they're right. And so, and for them, you know, it was just because it was such a different time period. People were so much 
I know this is going to sound weird because people are going to be like, oh no, they, you just think they were pure, but they weren't. Okay. I get it. There were other, we were really good at hiding shit and keeping it under that's, the rug back that's then. Basically I understand it, yes. that. But there was also, there was a simpler, there were simpler things back then. Like yeah. it just w- wasn't as complicated as it is now for certain things, for certain things. Um, and of course me being almost 20 years younger than him, I had a freaking ball <laughs> because I was like the star, you know, sure. it was like the celebrity, but other that's than the only that, reason he went by the way. Um, no, I went, <laughs> he's well, like, Oh yeah, no, we're going. Okay, let's go, he Gloria. Was, he was actually, like, for a guy that um, wasn't your traditional popular dude, like a football player or something like that, he was shockingly popular. Well, he's a very nice person. Well, he's a nice person. He's funny. He's and his, friendly. His parents had money, so he always uh, had nice things. Sure. He always had fast cars and, and nice mm. stuff, and so everybody wanted to know him, you know, because sure. he's like, he's the cool guy. Like, but, whatever happened to Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> so there were, we met, I mean, I met a t- shit ton of that's people. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Anyway, so that's one thing, and I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Um, I just don't like them. Number two, extended family reunions. <laughs> Well, that so, would never happen in our family. That, no, we used to go to them Ugh. regularly. And you know what? It's fine. But remember. you know those ones where every second cousin you've ever not met, you all meet at a park and you each picnic food and play games. And oh my God. all the adult, quote unquote, adults, they talk. Yeah. And they drink beer and they hang out and the rest of us are left to languish yes. in the heat or horribleness. Yeah. <laughs> True. Go over there with your cousins. I mean, the cousins I've never seen before. And sure. By the way, our family, our extended family, all lived in like Turlock and Tracy and Lodi. Well, and, I mean, all over the country, really. But but I my point yeah. is, I mean, I don't mean like, that was weird. Hello? Okay, we're back. Anyway, but it's not, not the cousins we used to play with in the summer, but I mean the ones that you're like, yeah, don't you remember Aunt Jan's? second cousin we're all gonna meet because we all have the same last name it'll be great i'm like no no it won't be great you don't have to do that anymore yeah now you have social media and you can just like instagram posts god like oh look who got married someone i don't remember but i'm related like (laughs) it's over it's wonderful or delete yes and the only time you get together is for a funeral maybe yeah maybe depending on who died so i'm like oh i love it i love that that's gone yeah so the other thing is finally is these award shows I've always felt like award shows for celebrities, artists, and stuff like that. Initially, they're really great for us to see because there was no social media. We had no idea what they were doing outside of their given craft, right. whether it's a movie, a show, or a concert, whatever record. It was. And then when they'd be nominated for something, everybody who was anybody would be in the audience. You're like, oh my God, there's Prince. Right. Oh my God, there's Madonna. She's with fucking Michael Jackson. And How they crazy had, is that? They had the ability to choose their fashion, yeah. which when they're in a movie or something, they're, you know, they're cast in a role. Right. So they're wearing whatever. So you get to see, so you could see their like personality. More, in, more individualism. Yes. Like Cher was good at it. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh my God. Yeah. No one knew that she was so outrageous with Bob Mackie. Right. And then you could see her look like this. Yeah. It's amazing. So it anyway, was fun. But now with social media, yeah. every celebrity and artist has some kind of presence. Even True. if they are anti everything, there is some kind of presence. They have a PR person see. that runs it. They yeah. may not even care about it, but yes. it's there. An occasional shot of their kitchen. Right. Having them mm. make some salad that they're actually not going to eat. Whatever. <laughs> So now we have a kind of more of a perspective of who these people yeah. are. And so now... We don't need to see, see them at the award shows. We already know their life. Exactly. And so then... Now, I do enjoy the red carpet. I do too. Only For because... The fashion. Yeah, I love the fashion. And I love how awkward it is when some person's like rabidly in their face going, Oh my God, who are you wearing? Are you so excited? Who do you think is going to win tonight? Yeah. Or the, the celebs that we've no, we come, we've come to love. We being the Uggs. Yes. Like Jennifer Lawrence. Sure. Uh, because yes. she's so awkward. She's so awkward. And I just love that about her. I, I hope she's there this year. Yeah. She probably will be because she's, there's a new film that she's coming, that uh. she's doing that's coming out. And it looks really funny. I can't remember the name of it, of course, but I saw oh, the trailer. I saw it. I, I totally, saw the trailer for it, and I'm like, "Oh, it's this is the one be funny. where she gets hired to she's basically super- deflower <laughs> this young geeky guy." She's like, "Do you want me hired. to date or date?" They're like, "Date, we want full to on date." date him. Yeah, and then yes. she tries, and he's just like, "He's not just having like, it. no, I have morals." Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> it funny. does look hilarious. Yeah, he's like, "I'm 19." She's like, "Okay, I can't anyway, wait to see it." Looks it. good. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So there are some celebs that I do enjoy watching, and then so that part is cool. But I've always maintained that. These award shows are basically the most glamorous work award parties. Agreed. Like those, you know, like 
I don't know if, I mean, when I used to work at a place, we would have these end of year banquets. Yes. And then there'd be a smattering we of awards. We actually had Christmas parties when you were allowed to do that. Oh my God, dude. The Christmas parties we used to have at the radio station. We used to shut the place down at three o'clock. We brought in two to three bars. Bartenders yeah. would come in with full setups. <laughs> We'd shut the doors and you could literally wander around all the stations and get different kinds of food and drinks. Right. Music playing everywhere. It we was would, we rent, off the chain. Yeah. You would never do that now. We rented the punchline. Like, um, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> like we had full, I mean, and this was, I mean, and this, these are lessons that you learn in your twenties when you go to work mm-hmm. parties Yes. Um, they're fun because you're doing things with people that you work with that where you're, you're, you're professional and you're everybody's solitary <laughs> and you know, you, and then yes. you get it, but you, but you get along, right. Cause you see each other mm-hmm. every single day and then you have a work party and you're like letting loose because yes. no one's working and we're all, mm-hmm. but those can bite you in the ass. Oh, and that's why they don't do them anymore. And I have, yeah, I have gotten shit faced drunk oh, where God. I practically had to be carried out. I was so wasted. I mean, and the, and the hookups and all the things. Just everything. Thank God I always went with a date. That's One the smartest year, thing to do. I, it was, I think it was the year... Because I, I was there right before these all ended. Uh-huh. So I got one good one. And yeah. then everybody got straightened up. And I'm like, okay, great. I come into the radio business. <laughs> and now we're going to be all act, we're gonna be all professional yeah, now. Yeah, right. But somebody, I remember there was some kind of drama where someone's wife came. And she oh, started geez. fooling around with oh, somebody God. else. And it was a, in a closet somewhere. Oh, Lord. Like typical. Yes. And I'm like, God, like a I prom miss, or I miss something. all of the fun. <laughs> God. It would have been so great. <laughs> anyway, so... So these award shows are great, but they're so self-indulgent. They're mm-hmm. so self-congratulating. That's what I can't stand. Which I hate the fucking speeches. And not only that, like, I hate it I when hate they it. they take the opportunity to, either when they're presenting or accepting an award, to tell you all their beliefs <laughs> and everything they endorse. <laughs> you know, save the whales. Actually, okay, and- you know what? I, I agree that I'm not a fan of that. You know what else I'm not a fan of? When someone goes, and I'd like to think. Jo- Josie, my daughter, she's my best friend. I know, right? I wouldn't be here without her. She saved my life. And I'm like, okay, Stop listen, it. save it for the therapist. Right. <laughs> save it for your daughter in her room, which you know, her daughter's sitting at, go home, Josie, mama will be there tonight. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> Good night, honey. I'll kiss you when I get home. And it's like, shut, shut up. Shut up. Your nanny Concepcion put her to bed two hours ago. <laughs> and she could give two fucks that you're up here. She's like, where's my Patting mother? yourself on the back. She's like, I, yeah. She's like, where's, her, where's my mom? She goes, well, you know, she had the Oscars tonight. She's like, can we DoorDash Taco Bell? Sure. Right? Thanks, Concepcion. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I'll take the usual number 12 at a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. God. I mean, it's like, give me a fucking break with that shit. I know. So that's the kind of stuff. I don't want to hear it. And when you think about when you go to work parties and there's a smash of awards and they're like oh we'd like to acknowledge oh, top God. seller or you know most whatevers and they come up there there's no speech no they're like no one wants to hear what ned has to say you know what we saw we used to do those at work why can't we just i say- hated them so bad Stephanie. i was like these are so first of all this is like the mean girls gone wild <laughs> you know what i mean but yes. with adults and it's so ridiculous yes. like it just looks pathetic i just wish that like and we talked about we had best dressed what? Best dress at work? Yes, and this was like 4 years ago. It wasn't even that long ago. Is it because most people show up in pajama bottoms well, and blankets? Well, at the time the manager was like big on she was one of those people who was like, you know, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. She was one of those women. I'm going to show up in yoga pants and a messy bun. And everybody and everyone you know like that means? we don't give a fuck. You I want to be mean? taken care of. I don't want to be here. Yes. I'm too cute to work. <laughs> That's me. I shouldn't be here. I'm adorable. What is going on? It reminds me of that first scene in um, Shawshank Redemption where the fat guy's like, you don't understand. I don't belong here. And they're like, shut up. Or I'll sing you a lullaby. Exactly. And that's me. I'm like, no, no, but I really don't belong here. It's like, it's like, um. Saving private, not saving private. Oh my god! Oh my no. god! No, the other one, the other one with Goldie Hawn. I can't remember. Oh god, where she? Yeah, Private Benjamin. Private Benjamin. She's like, I'm sorry, but this isn't. No, I'm supposed to go to another army <laughs> where there's a condo and beaches, <laughs> and I'm gonna get a tan. That would be so damn funny. Is green the only thing that color this comes in? <laughs> that would be me. I have totally. had recruiters call me. They're like, "Yeah, you're the perfect age. You should join us." I'm like, if you saw me, <laughs> you would be you like, "No, that this is a hilarious call." <laughs> 
hang up now. <laughs> Call Save it yourself. A day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh no, you'd be perfect. I'm like, I don't take orders. Yeah. So there we go. Goodbye. I know. It's you kick me out immediately. I am employed because I don't do that well. <laughs> Stop it. I am an independent thinker. I don't do well with the military <laughs> so thing, the life of the military. I couldn't oh, even God. be a military wife, let alone. A soldier. It's, we've talked about the, the type of people that it takes to... And it takes a special <laughs> kind of people, and that's great. And I'm the glad people they who exist. Could, people who could sacrifice. And, not me. Yeah, not me I either. will sacrifice for my children. Yeah. But that's it. Same. Pretty much my family. But anyway. Oh. So before we go to our predictions. Predictions. Excuse me. I almost burped. Predictions. <laughs> is um, the other thing that uh, social media has eliminated out of the world is those horrific prom photo packages. Oh, yeah. Or lifetime touch. Or school photo school packages. School photos, but they still try to shove that shit down our throat. And I, I'm like... I want to. I actually want to reach out to Life Touch and say, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. You should just take the kids' pics on a random day, send everybody an email, and go, we took your kids' picture for the yearbook. Here's a, here's a link or a code to the website so that perverts don't get to it. Yeah, yeah. If you like it. Put it on anything you want. Go to Shutterfly. Right. And put it on a mug, a blanket, buy buy photos, buy one photo yeah, instead of all the these... freaking 25, right? Do you remember when they used to sell those one by one inch pics? Like, who's that for? I know. I get it. Stupid magnets. And now Whatever that I you have, want. Uh, since I have a social media, don't gone. need it anymore. Well, they still, they still try, but they shouldn't. I would love it if they could. And this is such a good idea. And I don't want that somebody will eventually think of it, but I would much rather see, um, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? You know, when the kids aren't expecting you to take their photo, just they're, they're playing or they're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yes. not posed pictures mm-hmm. of my child that at would school be cute. doing things that I don't normally get to see and like a collage or that like different so shots cool. where you can look through it and be like, oh, and they identify, look, your kids in these, this set of photos. Yeah. And if you want any of them, buy them, you know, that is really cute. that I would love. That's a great idea. I don't need a picture with a, a blue cloud background and my son with that weird, awkward smile on his face. When they, and they use those black combs and they comb their hair to the left. You're I know. like, my child never wears this hair like Who this. are these people that take these photos? Do they not know that we don't brush our kids' hair that way? Can you not tell? I think it's kind of the same thing where they go, do, do these insane things. Just like Starbucks, their trained is like, don't write their actual name. Yeah. Do something that's similar. Yeah. Because it makes people go viral. They they go, My name's <laughs> right. my name's Amber and they put, you know, lumber. Yeah. Or right, something. Right, right, and right. it's 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 a tactic. It's a thing, yeah. It's a marketing tactic. So do the same thing yeah. with the kids. These horrible photos, and they're like, God, you look so ridiculous. I am definitely buying this. Yeah. <laughs> that's like I think that's what they do. Right. They're like, You look ugly. I'm sending this off to your mother. <laughs> God. And you should see how much they are. It's ridiculous. And the same with the prom photos, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So as we drink our mimosas, I'm going to go through you, me, and producer Deb all picked the main awards that we think will yeah, win Yeah, you're tonight. not going to pick like, you know. No. The, okay. no. No, no, We're going through these quickly. Uh, okay. So the first one is for best actor. Uh, Daryl and I chose Brendan Fraser for okay. The Whale. Yeah. Um, and you chose Austin Butler for Elvis. I, I do think it's going to be... A hard uh, choice. Now, yeah. Now, um, our hairdresser Greg, um, he's totally gotten me into RuPaul's Drag Race again. I used to watch it a long yeah, time yeah. ago, and now I'm watching it again, and I'm completely sucked in, oh, completely shoot. all in. <laughs> I love it. It's so fucking. So good. I've heard, and it wins all it kinds wins of everything, awards, for, everything. Yeah, for a reason. So anyway, um, we were talking about that. So I was watching the latest episode on Saturday. And I texted him because this really funny part happened. And I was like, free Willy. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh my God, didn't you watch? And he goes, oh yeah, I just don't remember. So we were talking about it. He goes, well, I'm watching The Whale right now. And I said, oh. And I go, okay. He goes, well, we're trying to watch, everybody does this, where you try to watch all the movies nominated to see. So that you have an educated. How accurate. Opinion. Yes. Yes. And I said, oh, okay. I said, well, I'm. So then like an hour later, he goes, oh my God. He goes, I'm sobbing. I can't. He goes, Brendan must win. (laughs) And I've heard this over and, and I over. Said, I said, oh my God. I go, well, now I have to watch it. I go, I've heard it's a lot like the elephant man. Oh, God. And I can't with it because that hurts my heart. Same. So I can't with the mistreatment of people I, me too. because they're not perfectly normal. Right. It bothers me. 
And especially I don't, if it's like a period piece, if they go back into like the early 80s or 70s when yeah. we did horrific things to, to people, people like that. Yeah. Like, if you're not normal, you're going to be completely yes, tortured yes. and horribly, horribly treated. So I'll be curious. Now, I did tell him, I said, I'm just concerned that Austin Butler may get the edge because Lisa Marie Presley died. That's true. And he goes, God, that's a good point. And then, but he's like, no. He goes, I'm still crying and it's been 20 minutes since I've seen the movie. Oh my it's, God. All right. So I have to watch it. Stephanie, because, I need to watch it too. It was one of the only ones of the list of, of that are of nominations yeah. that I was like, yeah, I really do want to see I that do one. Too. I, I want to see it, but I can't, I'm just, I can't, it's so hard for me. I think, I th- but I will, but it has a happy effort. ending. I think, right. I don't think so. He, Oh he God, stop. Don't, don't tell me. I won't. Okay. Okay. Because it's triggered many things in my life. I'm like, Greg, please. This is, you're hurting my heart. Oh you're my hurting my heart. I'm hard. I want to run over and give you a hug. <laughs> please. I know, huh? Uh, best actress. We all chose Michelle Yeoh. Okay, great. For everything, everywhere, all at once, which I yes. saw on a plane on my way to London. And I have uh-huh. to tell you, I, I cried at the end. Okay. What's weird is a lot of people are saying they didn't like it. They're like, it was too weird. I'm like, it is pure fantasy. Yes. It's completely, so I've you have to just. It's an, you have to have an artistic mind to appreciate that. I would agree with you on film. that. And I think that's why it's going to sweep personally. You do. Uh, with the things that it's, for, for the most part, I think what, I think Michelle Yeoh is going to win. If she doesn't, it will be a crime. Well, see this, this. They will riot if she does not win I this. know, right? And she deserve. she has deserved accolades for a long for time. decades but that being said yes. her co-nominees yes also i mean yes. it is it is very difficult to say that not, i mean yes. um what's her name thank you from wakanda um angela bassett angela bassett deserves she does I she know. has been in so many movies that we She's all so good just love i mean and i watched i saw wakanda forever so yeah like they were i was yes. watching the red carpet but i have earlier. to tell you i've seen her in i saw wakanda forever i saw her role and i've also seen michelle yeo it's not even a really it's not it's not even a and then jamie contest. lee curtis is also nominated yes so and she's yes so Best Supporting Actress, we all said Jamie Lee Curtis okay. for Everything Everywhere oh, All did at we? Once. Yes. Good. And she absolutely, she completely just, she's super frumpy. She, in the movie. There's some weird alternate universes. And in yeah. one alternate universe, th- she is the bad guy in the movie in general. Okay. But she and Michelle Yeo are, are an actual couple in one of the universes <laughs> and they have hot dog fingers. <laughs> And I think that's why people just couldn't, they couldn't grip why this is getting so much accolades. Like, it was bizarre. Okay. But, I'm, well, but I loved it. It was Many great. movies are and have been. But she was so good in this movie and she was very well-rounded. Like, yeah, right. just amazing. Well, she's one of those people that although she was born into Hollywood stardom. She's a Nepo baby. She is. Um, she's the ultimate Nepo baby she, in my opinion. She, she is. But I will say this, that um, the things that I've seen her in where she's not acting in the last year or two, yeah. it's a, and it's such an, an amazing thing that I feel like women primarily go through. Mm-hmm. But when you get older, you just don't give a fuck anymore. She is the epitome of that as well. She's just she done. Does not care. She's like, I don't give a. F- I just don't care. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> so I, true. Right now, I mean, it may be easier for her to embrace that attitude yeah, she's because rich. she's rich as shit and famous. She's never known <laughs> anything different. In fact, here's she said one thing recently that is so not. Uh, relatable. relatable she said i don't understand i want to see the wild the wild thornberries or not that but the the what tra- whoever she wanted to see a band and she's like i just don't understand why they don't do afternoon concerts anymore like why do we have to go out at seven <laughs> o'clock at night i'm like because we all have to fucking work jamie people <laughs> right. work they can't take the day <laughs> off and go to see a fucking concert yeah at we're all not just sitting around trying to figure out what what am i gonna do today like geez it's like yeah do well do i log in and get on this team's call or do i just get fired and go see the cranberries yeah, and i'll have one month until i'm getting evicted from my She's, home that, yeah people work right. jamie lee that's why yeah right so yeah we can't pay them to come to our home okay <laughs> yes i think most for a private show <laughs> agreed 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 that's that yes. was bad but she you know i think i mostly what i'm mean is by her looks yes she still looks amazing obviously oh uh, yeah she's taking very good she's, care of herself she has but um yeah. yeah but i like her attitude about you know when, how women look and stuff now she's very cool in that she's regard. very cool justine bateman is like that too yeah she's very much like fuck botox i'm like well you might no. be alone on that one oh yeah the rest yeah, yeah. of us might want that it's okay Anything though you can do. That's what's great. It's like women can do literally anything. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah same, that's the point. Same. Okay, um, best supporting actor. Uh, you and producer Dub chose uh, Ki Hua Kwan for yes. Everything Everywhere All at Once. I 
honestly did not even know that was him. Really? Watched the whole film, had no idea. Well, now you do, Because he right? looks so good. Yeah. He looks like a man. Did you go back and look at it again? No. Oh. <laughs> but I believe, I believe it's him. Yeah, yeah, it's him. But he just, he just was, he was very, very good in that. I did choose Barry Keoghan, and he's, it's from that Banshees of Insurance movie. Oh, okay. Um, it's all based in Ireland. And the only reason was I watched it, and I couldn't stop wanting to save this person because he's such an abused broken kid uh-huh. he's like 19 or 20 in the movie and then and and so i mean spoiler alert he dies in the end oh um and i don't even and nobody really knows why it looks like somebody assaulted him but we're not sure because they found him in the river his uh. dad was a cop and his dad was an asshole so it's possible that he harmed him and then he ultimately like further down the line died of whatever injury right right and it was really devastating to me and i was like this is but that means Horrible. that that means that he portrayed his character in such a way yes. that you it was were very like, real. You were so it was so real to you, which is great. That's and what you want them to do. Then when I found out that this actor was actually an orphan oh and was practically homeless most of his life, right? This was an easy role for him, right? And so I'm like, please give him the award. I'm like, I know the guy. I know short round probably will win it, but, but. I. I am pulling for this guy, so I had to put it because yeah, I'm like no. he, he profoundly affected me in that movie. That's good. Best supporting actress, we already said Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, so best song, producer Dub and I chose the Rihanna song "Lift Me Up" from the Black Panther Wakanda. Right, and, and everybody's ch- yes, and you chose "Hold My Hand" from Top Gun. I did. I don't remember that one. Well, here's the thing: it's producer Dub liked the movie, right? Very much, and you were like, eh, you know, I didn't. I here's the thing: it was a good movie. But it's a sequel, and I can't believe Correct. it's nominated for all these fucking awards. I know. I think it's because it's, I think it's one of those movies where it I can't was believe it. when it was released. It was released during a time where we really needed some non nonsense. We really needed something that wasn't controversial. Yeah, something that wasn't going to strike some kind of political chord in society. Yeah, and it was easy, and you didn't have to think. True, and you so you can just watch it. And, you can and just watch listen, it. The the action scenes were next level. I think it's going to yes. win all of those awards. I think it's going to, well, cinematography, perhaps it's, it's competing against all is all quiet on the Western front, Correct. which apparently was quite harrowing. I right. won't see that movie, but, um, so I think it's going to be a toss That's up. the German movie. It's about world war one. Yeah. And I, the I trench struggle. warfare. God, I can't with I, those. Well, it gives me nightmares. I can't watch those it's movies. It's just, yeah, it's really, it just gives re- me nightmares. I've seen nightmares. enough of them that I don't yeah. know any, that I need to see another one, but I yeah. might watch it just because I, <clears throat> well, that's good. I just can't. I, I my will husband literally is have nightmares. so diehard. What watches loves watching war movies. So does Daryl. He loves yeah. it. We well, have all that stuff. Was his dad in the military or just a his, law enforcement? Daryl's dad was in the Vietnam War. Okay. Um, served many tours of duty. Has right. the Purple Heart. We're very so that I think that I think that's that why. And same yes. with my with my husband. His yes. father was also all of those things. Mm-hmm. And um, although he was older because he was in the Korean War. But all right. Well, Daryl's other dad was in the Korean War. Yeah. Yes. So, so we're. I mean. So yes. the, the stories and the things that they heard over their growing they up years, they get to see it. Yes. And now that's one of the things I love about modern cinematography is it's oh, so real, so freaking real. Scary. <laughs> I don't like it. It really makes you like, oh my God, this actually happened. And like, yeah, it did. <laughs> okay. Best animated. Um, we all pick different ones. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, okay. Producer Dub picked. Did Gear. you guys see any of these though? No, okay. but I saw a lot of clips of all of okay, these. Okay. Yeah, me too. Uh, so Daryl picked uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Okay. Uh, you picked Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which apparently is the favorite to win. Oh, really? Uh, from what I've heard, it's actually very, very good. Well, so my son bought it. I bought yes. it for my son and I just bought it. So yes. um, we watched it together. Because Did you he, love it? He had already seen it. Did you cry? Uh, no. Oh, okay. It's, it's actually more, f- it's funny. I freaking love Puss in Boots. I've seen all the, when he came out in Shrek for the first time, I went, okay, so- I... I'm all I'm all in on. Well, you know, we love cats and we love cats that are like realistic. And I saw the original Puss in Boots and I loved it. So my son and I, um, one of the things I love about my son besides everything is he is we have a very similar sense of humor. Mm. We have almost an identical sense of humor, actually. Oh, I love it. And so um, that movie, he 
found hilarious. And so when I watched it with him, he, he knew I would love it. Yes. So and when certain scenes were coming, he doesn't watch the movie. He watches me. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. To see if I'm going to react. Although or if I will I say, I'd be like, son, in the future, I just want you to know whoever you're with in the future, don't watch them when they're watching things. No woman likes that. No, he wouldn't. But it's, no woman but it's likes me. It. Of course, you're his mom. So, he right? wants to see if you're going to laugh when he laughs. And, and me and him are right. literally like clones of little, each other. Little peas just, in a pod. He's a boy. Yeah. So we, I very much enjoyed it. I, for both, for both the movie was amazing and funny as hell. Um, yes. And my son watching it with me was great. I chose Marcel the Shell with shoes on. Okay. Now the reason I chose it was because I had seen the preview. <laughs> I had seen the preview many times and then I saw clips of it and I'm like, you know what? This is just such a thirsty Academy Award winning movie. Like they almost like this will win the awards and yeah. they made it. It's kind of like when you take a test or do an interview, they look for trigger words. Yes. They scan your resume to see if you said the right things and then they'll pick you. I firmly believe that Hollywood makes movies just to get Oscars. Oh, agree. And I think Marcel Isn't that the goal for all of those egotistical maniacs? I don't know. I mean, you can tell when something's an Oscar thirst trap. Like the Banshees of Insurin. Is it? I, we finished watching it. I First of all, it's one of the most depressing films I've ever seen in my life. And they're all, it's a, it's symbolic. It's a symbolism of the Irish War, the mm. Irish Civil War. And I'm like, okay, well, that helps because now it makes more sense because there's a lot of weird shit that goes on in that movie. And yet nothing happens in that movie. Oh. So it was one of those ones where there's a lot of walking, <laughs> a lot of silence, <laughs> okay. you know, a lot of people leaving and not leaving, that kind of shit. Weird symbolism okay. of animals and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, gotcha. a lot of severing of fingers. I don't trust. Okay, I don't get yeah. it. Shock value. I don't know. Like, let's do something so everybody's like, oh my God, he just cut his fingers off. Well, more like. Like Quentin Tarantino style. More like, I told you I would do this if you didn't leave me alone. And now I have to do it. So I'm doing okay. it. That kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh. So I think Marcel is one of those ones where it's like, I think if we make this very artistic, a little bit of humor, it's going to get a nomination. Yeah. And that's really all we want. <laughs> I don't know if it'll win or not. I think Puss in Boots is going to win. But I, yeah. I I picked it because I just thought, you know, I wanted Puss I wanted to say Marcel worth, mostly. Yeah. Puss in Boots because it's not <laughs> I want to name an animal Marcel. I've decided. That's perfect. I'm going to find, I'm going to get a cat and name it Marcel. Or that would, kick, that could be a fish too, but yeah. <sighs> but My I think, last fish that died was named Marshawn. Oh, see? I loved Marshawn. Marshawn Lynch. Yes, he was badass. I was sad that he died, actually. I gave him a proper the fish burial. Or, I'm like, Marshawn Lynch did not die? <laughs> My beta. <laughs> I buried it. And here's the thing. When we had all those storms a few months ago. Oh, no. And the tree that he was buried on uprooted. Uh-oh. And I went, oh, no. He's gonna, well, there's no way you're going to find this tiniest skeleton on well, the planet. Well, he's in a Mentos box, so he'll be fine. Oh. But, I mean, I made a little headstone and everything, and then oh I God. buried him under everything. And think I just did it because I didn't want the dog or a cat or an animal you know to what? dig it up. I didn't even think about that, the storms and how that may affect mm. animals that we've buried, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, because we usually put them in, like, a... Are they in your house? Are they at your house? <gasps> yeah, in my backyard. Oh, no. You better pile on some dirt just to Well, no, I make, I make... Does he go deep? So deep. Well, then he's fine. Because I just, yeah, we live in, we've talked about this before, but the part of town that we, you and I live in, there yes. are animals, like uh, not bears and lions oh. and stuff, but I mean, we have significant wildlife. Before we go to our best movie choices, let me tell you, Daryl decided that we needed more security cameras. Oh. So we upgraded our security system. So we yeah. have a camera on both sides of our house. Yes. Oh, on those the, are fascinating on the, to watch, aren't on they? The we have one on the one oh, yeah. side where our um, garbage cans are, and on the other side where mm -hmm. we have a garden gate. So we can see on both sides of our house now, which we didn't before. First of all, they're Very a little smart. they're a little too sensitive because when cars come even down the uh, the lane, all of them light up and I'm like this is uh, dumb. You can change that, but yeah. He's going to fix it, the sensitivity. But yes. last night he goes, "Hey, did you see on the garden gate what we caught um, around 12 o'clock last night?" I'm like, "No, what?" He goes, "Look, and it's a fucking rat." Ew. And I'm like, "Was it coming or going?" And he goes, "Well, it was it uses the fence line." Right. To get, and it, then it jumped down into the neighbor's yard. Right, I'm right, like, right. Okay, well, that's fine. No one's going to go in your backyard. Well. I mean, they might, but. The garden area is gated off to the dogs because they'll dig up my garden. But wouldn't Bodega try to go after something if it was in there? That dog, there was a skunk who had the audacity to break into that side uh, last summer. He literally destroyed this iron rock gate that we put in cement. Trying to get to it. He got it. Oh, he did. Oh, geez. He got it. He got in. And I'm like, well, you are 14 years old. <laughs> you have seven teeth. <laughs> and he killed it. He's like, I don't need teeth to kill those. In fact, the other day, one had the, some fool skunk dug under the fence over by our shed. And, you know, it's really hard to get back there. And Bodega's really big. Uh, yeah. He got back there. 
Oh shit. He broke down the gate and got down, got back there and the skunk heard him coming because of, because he had too much time to get to him. Cause normally Bodega is like a ninja. Yeah. But so the he skunk heard him. escaped and sprayed on his way out. Bodega oh, barely got sprayed. I was like say, barely. Really? Cause he almost got, it's almost like, it's almost like the movie Jaws where they almost get bitten. But yeah, then, where the leg comes out of the water just as the yeah. shark's opening well, its mouth. Well, that's Bodega and the skunk. Oh my God. Bodega being the shark. And yes. so he, so Daryl goes, you're not going to believe it, but a skunk got away last night. I'm like, what? He goes, <sighs> yeah. And I go, what happened? He goes, well, it was early morning and the skunk dug under. Bodega almost got him and he got sprayed a little bit. And Bodega's pouting. He's like, damn it. He's like, he got away. He'd be like, there will be a next time. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, first of all, this is not good news because, you know, but tis the season. It's spring. I Skunks know. Skunks come around. God, I, it, it doesn't feel like spring, by the way. It, no, it's, it's ridiculous. It's black and it's cold I outside. It. And it's been raining for so many days. I hate I'm just my, so I hate over it. it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, he's pouting. And I'm like, well, he'll, he'll get over it. First of all, it was a weird thing. Yeah. You know, a and fluke. it could have been small and just got it away. Was a fluke. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, rats, all kinds of creatures. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm not, I'm unsure. I told him, I said, I'm not sure I want to know. Sometimes we don't, there's information yeah. we don't need. Well, with the animals, no, not necessarily. But if it's a we human. Have no humans. No, if comes you did, down though, here. you would be so grateful well, to have it. If we were in any other neighborhood, yes, 100%, I would want them. And I'd be like, yeah. Okay, best picture. We've all picked different things. Oh. Interesting. I chose everything everywhere all at once because I think it's going to sweep. Did you pick it because you think it's the best movie or did you pick it just because you think that's what's going to (sighs) win? Well, here's the problem you and I both have is I have not seen every movie that's Uh nominated. I've seen Elvis, Everything Everywhere, Top Gun. Mm -hmm. Um, I have seen The Banshees of Insurin. Insurin. I have not seen The Whale and I don't know what else is nominated. Aren't there like seven nominations uh for best picture i don't even I can't remember. remember i think it's six but i don't okay so i've seen almost all of them and so i believe that this is the best one i've seen yeah of okay. all of them i so, don't think elvis is worthy of an award i know you chose elvis daryl chose I, the banshees I think, I think it's austin butler that got me yes. on elvis and i think yes. we, you and i talked about the fact that the one turn off for the movie was tom hanks's character <sighs> horrible I just Garbage. think they, I think it was poorly casted. I agree. Yeah, I so. agree completely. But and I, by the way, I love freaking Tom Hanks. I will, I will say this, and yes, I do too. I will say this though. I I don't. I will not be surprised if Elvis wins. I won't either, just because of the current climate of what's going on with Priscilla Presley just dying, or not Priscilla Presley, Lisa Marie, me. yeah, just dying. Yes, her Although, son having died not <sighs> long, not long before her. Crazy. Yeah, and then Daryl chose the Banshees of Insurance, and I think he chose it because he thinks it's Oscar bait. Okay. I think he thinks because of what kind of movie it is. Yeah. It's the dark horse. Yeah, yeah. You know? So you can tell by my picks that I pick the movies that I mostly have seen. I think that's fine. Because I'm like, I feel bad making guesses about movies I've not seen. That's And not I will fair. say this. I I am so not cool with Top Gun being nominated for best movie. Oh, Only that's, because, that's like the one controversy that people are talking about. Well, because it's a sequel. And if you saw Top Gun, which I know you did. Oh my God. It's almost times. frame for frame like the original. And Jared, I'm like, Jerry and I said the same thing. How is this nominated? And I asked Daryl, I said, am I just being an asshole? No. And I go, is it good? He goes, well, it's pretty good. And I'm like, I mean, is it good enough to be nominated with the whale? No. (laughs) And he's like, well, probably not. I don't, I I would be really surprised if that, if that movie wins anything. I think it's going to win the visual stuff. Perhaps. But here's the thing. But the competition is really stiff. I said this. I said, if Top Gun has the audacity to be nominated for best film, then the Marvel movie Endgame should have been nominated for okay, Best Film. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. And it was full of, of huge megastars. Right. And it would have been a perfect... Well, and there wasn't a bunch of huge megastars. I mean, besides Tom Cruise. Yeah. Jennifer Conley was in it, and I, I like, like her. her. But she's not a big mega. But You're she's right. not... I mean, no, she, I mean, she's definitely worthy. I mean, she's only a movie star. She doesn't do, like, Correct. TV and all and that And she's stuff. done some movies that I love. Like, Me if too. you saw the movie that she played, uh, Russell Crowe's wife... Why wasn't she nominated for yeah. something, for God's sake? <laughs> 
Tom Cruise wasn't nominated she for was Best Penny Actor. Benjamin. So why why did that get nominated for Best Picture? Best and Picture. No actors got nominated. I don't know. You know, like, really, it doesn't make any fucking sense. No, I agree. Yeah, their song and the movie. That's the, the only song. thing that got that got. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, you know, I don't think that movie's gonna honestly win anything. I don't even think it's gonna win the cinematography stuff. You think Wakanda? There will win are some stuff? well, I mean, the way that the woke Hollywood elite, the woke Hollywood elite. What are you talking about? Uh, right? Uh, they. It's it's anything to do with patriotism, patriotism. Excuse me. I don't think that's why. That's why it's I, in the news right now. People are like, oh, how dare them? You know, because it's a it's it a, got nominated. I know it did. But so how can you say that it? Because I just I I know it got nominated, but I don't think thing. it's going to win. Here's the thing that you and I don't agree on. I don't agree that Hollywood's so liberal. You you people say that because other media outlets say that, but if you. Th- Look at who is in charge. It's white men. Mm. They they control Hollywood. It has nothing to do with anything. People are like, oh, well, I'm a conservative, so I can't say anything about Patricia Heaton. You were on Everybody Loves Raymond for like a hundred <laughs> years. Okay. You're a millionaire. You make money right. all day, every day. Shut the fuck up with that shit. <laughs> I know, right? Tim Allen, you are Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Okay, right. you are not being canceled by the liberal media or the liberal anything. <laughs> and flashes wiener to Pamela Anderson. You are very successful. <laughs> Hi, Shut I'm cocaine. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I uh, please stop. Not you, but no, in I general get it. terms, please stop saying that that Hollywood is so fucking liberal. Well, I think. It's Do a- you know how many actors and actresses are closeted because they can't oh, yeah, come yeah, out? Yeah. That is not liberal, people. Oh, you mean like gay yes. or lesbian? Oh yes. no, I don't know. It's it's a, it's a it is a foregone conclusion that there are a lot of people who are very quote unquote sexy to the opposite sex who are majorly gay. Yeah, yeah. But gay is nothing in Hollywood, That's and yet true. they will not come out. Yeah, well, maybe. so come on, you know. To me, it's like, but do they not come out because of that? The, do they not come out because of the they don't want to have the stigma attached that there supposedly is, or do they not come out because it's just a personal choice they're not ready to do? It, either way, it doesn't matter. My point is, is that in Hollywood, if it was so liberal and woke and so everything, then everybody would be like, it's a free for all. This is what we do. <laughs> love is love. Everything. They don't do any of that stuff. No, no, Nobody supports true. any of it. In fact, Shannon Doherty has cancer. She has yeah. had cancer forever. She's going to die of it. Eventually. Yeah. But she's. it's one of those things where, you know, you hear people who literally just live with cancer for 15 Long years time, or yeah. whatever. And then ultimately they will pass away from it. Right. Because of whatever reason. Yeah. Her SAG. Olivia Newton-John, my God. Her was- SAG benefits will not pay for any of her cancer treatment anymore. How is that liberal? Why not? Because they're fucking Hollywood and they don't oh. want to pay. It's like, it's like. I thought it was some like political reason why they're like, right. oh, we can't back Shannon Doherty. The casting because- couch. Women literally have to blow these disgusting human beings. Harvey Weinstein Ugh. ran like a rabid animal for I 20 know, huh? years and no one said a thing. That is not liberal. So my point in all of this is I don't think that I, I still don't understand the Top Gun thing at the end of the day. I don't get it. <laughs> a lot of people loved it. And I asked him, I, Daryl and I were talking about it. I said, is it because it made so much money? Because I know everybody saw it more than once. I think it was because it was so everybody, anticipated for one. Yeah, because it, it had been on the back burner for well, years. Well, because COVID came. COVID and, ended and they everything. they stopped producing it yes. and, and all of that. But um also, I like I was like I personally believe yeah. it was because it was an easy. It yes. was anybody could watch it, and yep. you didn't have to have a, an opinion about something. It's true, I, I, but then I I still maintain that there's a lot of Marvel movies that could have been put in that spot a couple of years ago. But also, but some people just don't like Marvel movies. Here's the dumb thing, and it's not dumb, but it's kind of dumb. I really struggle with Tom Cruise being a Scientologist. Agreed. It I bothers do me. It does that me he, too. That they're trying to make him so fetch. Yeah. Still knowing that there are people who are literally harmed and destitute based on his practicing his own faith or whatever. children disowned their mother because it's, of him. It's weird. And the fact that he's being celebrated, like he's the yeah. one person that apparently everyone can separate his personal life from his work. I know, huh? No one else has that. Luxury. Fortitude. No yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's weird to me. Well, R. Kelly does for some fucking reason. I don't what? get it. People can still go, oh, well, I like R. Kelly. I mean, oh, I know God, no. I know he's a pedophile and he had a harem of young girls, but, you know, no. I believe I Can Fly is a very good song. And no. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, it isn't. You can't. You got to let it go. Yeah, I'm you not. Got, Bill Cosby used to be hilarious. He 
He's not anymore. Now he's just a pig. Now in my he's mind. a rapist. Yeah, in fact, I've they've seen been, it. They have the Cosby Show on in syndication on constantly, and and I'm like, why? I, I um, I have seen clips of it, and it was a very good show. It's funny, but I it's tainted now. I can't look at him. Whenever I see it, I think, who did you drug that day, fool? Yeah, or who like did you get a drug that night? I really weekend. struggle. I yeah. do struggle. Me All too. right. Anyway. So those are our Oscar predictions. I didn't even get through my champagne and we're done already. I know. But thank you for listening. And so we will post our predictions on our social media so that you can see who was, and I'm so curious to see how we like fare. how right or wrong Yeah. We are. And then we'll, we'll obviously. Are we going to be shocked? I don't know. Top so, Gun for the sweep. I would laugh so <laughs> fucking hard, Stephanie. I would laugh so hard. Like someone explain to me the insanity. Yeah. So anyway, I'm excited. And so we will post um, our choices on all of this will take place on social we're not going to talk about it again after this right but anyway so thank you for listening everyone we'll talk to you later <laughs> later bye <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> we'll talk to you later <laughs> dumb god <laughs> stupid <laughs>